Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you have ever grown Brussels sprouts outside, you know that this plant is like a magnet for a uh, cabbage looper or those little worms or whatever they're called. I'm gonna show you what the eggs look like before they hatch and then we'll we'll grab a few and put them in a jar and then uh, let them hatch in there and then I'll let you see what they look like. So if you come out here and you see, uh, you see that there? This speck of little thing attached to the leaves, those are usually what they look like. And they're, they're everywhere. Look at this. There's one right there. It's very difficult to remove them all because they're very hard to see. See, there's one right there. So let's do an experiment and then I was, I'll let you see what they look like when they hatch. I'll just pull a few of these off. And then we'll put this in a jar and then we'll see. Alright, I gather a few examples and then we're going to put this into a jar and let them hatch so that we can see what they look like when they come out. So there's... Okay, we'll just leave them here for a few days and then uh, check back and I'll, I'll show you what they look like. Okay guys, it has been exactly six days and I did notice some progress here. Uh, some of our worms have hatched. See that there, that little line right there? So they'll start chewing on the plant. So let me take a few out of here to show you. I added some new leaves because the other ones that are old were dry. So. See the little thing there? That's why they look like they're tiny, but they will start eating and chewing and growing very fast. That's another one right there. There are a few that haven't hatched yet. So, those should come out soon. There's more here. See, that one's moving right there. It's moving a little bit. Okay, we'll put this away for now and let's see how fast they grow within the next few days. Alright guys, today is 9 days and let me show you what's going on with these guys. They have grown a bit now and start to chew on the leaves and there's holes in it everywhere. Okay, so you see that? There are two of them right there and you see holes next to them and then you get to also see some you know like black spots there those are their poop so see there that's what they look like there and those holes are what they usually chew in your in your plants and let me show you a few more so there there's there they are there's one and two and as you can see those holes in the plants is what they do. Here's a few more. See there? More of them on here and there are the holes again. So that is usually the damage that they would do. Let me go and show you the plant and so that you can see what it looks like on the plant. Okay, here is the actual plant, and if you see signs like these here, see those holes there? Look around those holes and you will see them. Uh, I already picked them off, but those are really the signs to tell you that they're there. They're very small, so you have to look carefully and just check for the holes like that. Alright, now that you have seen these guys and the potential damage that they can do to your plants, how do you treat them uh, if that occur in your garden? And I always use neem oil and soap and water 
and that's really the only pesticide that I use to spray these things. Um, just wait until uh, the sun goes down. Mix yourself a 32 ounce of spray, and I mix 10 milliliter of neem oil, five milliliter of, uh, organic dish soap, and then just shake it up, and then just spray everywhere on the plants. It's pretty simple. Just they use the under leaves, so just make sure that the leaves make contact where those holes are, and if you see them, just spray them, and that should get rid of them. Anyway, that's uh, basically how I treat these guys in my garden. They keep them pretty good and uh, under control, so I don't get many of these. As you can see, that um, the, anytime I see those eggs, I just pick them off or and then spray around, and that's usually how I get rid of most of them. Okay, that's all for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.